you know, Boris was, he obviously had the party gate thing hanging over him. It was, it was making him, it was controversial. It was dominating the news agenda. And that he seized on this, uh, he seized on this invasion by Putin it, so strongly because he saw it as a great distraction strategy away from all the stuff on Partygate. What, what would you say in response to, to that cynical view? That's total rubbish. I, I went to a, a private meeting that he spoke at back in January and he was asked questions on a number of topics, as a prime minister would. Um, uh, but when he was asked questions about Ukraine, the war hadn't started then. Remember, the war only started in the middle of February. Yeah, about the uh, 19th, wasn't it? February yeah, the, this was in January. And, and he just, the way he answered, he just stepped up completely to world, world stage quality. He was completely on top of everything. I'm not saying, of course, there weren't other people in the cabinet like Ben Wallace who weren't also working extremely hard to, um, to help prepare what our response was going to be. And I think you have to remember I, that you go back, Boris goes back to being foreign secretary in the day when Putin cynically and, and with, with amusement, or with a joke on the television, sent two people um, or more, two or three people, over to Salisbury deliberately to murder somebody mm. with a poisonous nerve agent that was so dangerous that coming into contact with it caused other deaths as well, you know, completely innocent. Un the, the, just cynical acts of murder on foreign soil. And, and Boris was foreign secretary at the time. I think any, if he ever had any uh, illusions about Vladimir Putin... They, go, they, they, they fell apart at that moment. Uh, and he led that response, and he was always going to lead the response to Ukraine as well, because the European countries mostly were compromised. Right. And so war in Europe was a big moment, wasn't it, in 2022? It was, for most of us, a, a big shock. It, it absolutely was. But I think an even bigger shock was the fact we had Russia, this major superpower, invading a country, and I think Putin expected to subdue Ukraine within days. Mm. And the fight back from the Ukrainian people has been absolutely incredible. And, of course, there's been massive international support as well. But, but, but what a shame. You know, I remember I worked very briefly in Russia in uh, 1988, uh, in the days of Gorbachev when the Soviet Union was opening up and becoming uh, much more democratic and, and much more uh, internationalist. And now it's retreated back into its shell again un under Putin. Uh, and as Daniel rightly mentioned, we've had the Salisbury poisons, poisonings. I mean, Putin is, is a dangerous, dangerous man. And what worries me is what he's going to do if he really feels he is losing that war. That absolutely terrifies me.